In a minute, you're going to know how you can get the legal scooter to ride in the UK. All right, good morning everybody. We are here in a nice place today with Ash. Hi uh, Ash, <laughs> nice to meet you, nice it's to nice see you. Yeah, face to face. We have a big announcement for you today. Since our last video, and apologies to everybody for the fact that we did put up there was going to be a big announcement, but life happened. In the previous year, during lockdown, I was an e-scooter rider. And what happened to me? I got six points on my driver license for riding an e-scooter responsibly. This made me to start this YouTube channel to help other users to ride e-scooters safely, lawfully, and potentially legally. Uh, today, we are here with Ash to share with you the news that there is a chance to make the scooter, make use of the scooter potentially legal. Uh, it's not as easy as just to buy and ride. There are some steps you need to do before start before you can start riding it. And uh, let's share it with our viewers. I met Dimitri through this because um, I've been involved in the consultation. Um, I'm not against them, let me start there. I think e-scooters are a great idea, but we need to be practical about it and um, we need to actually have a way of moving forward now, sooner rather than later, because we've had, from, that, from the comments from the videos and from a lot of people who've contacted us, people are fed up and they just want to get on with it now. So jointly we've come up with an idea and we've, we've uh, researched the idea um, and we actually surprisingly have found a way we can move forward now and we want to put it to you in this video um, and get your comments back and maybe hopefully get some of you hooked on the idea of actually having a road legal e-scooter now. Um, where next? Um, what we're setting out to achieve is use the existing L2 moped classification to bring a e-scooter to the road under that instead of the powered transporter um, classification which they currently fall under. Um, this is not impossible. A lot of we, we, we a lot of people have told us it was, um, but we have uh, some clients came to me uh, about three months ago and asked me to do it, and we managed to achieve it. Um, it will involve that we that we we can only do one e-scooter, one brand, one make of e-scooter. We can't do lots and lots and lots of different ones. Um, but we see this as sort of a proof of concept type of thing, and that other manufacturers could follow suit on if they wanted to. And we're not against that. We think that'd be brilliant if they could. As we put in the title of the video, these will be legal from word go, but however, as Dimitri said, there are a few um, things we have to do and will have to do. Um, we're gonna choose the as our base model, our donor vehicle for this, because essentially it, fit, it ticks all the boxes without um, us having to do any major modifications to the vehicle from word go. Um, it has, uh, <laughs> The speed, top speed, we, we've looked at it and it says 28 miles an hour, which is the legal cutoff and restriction for a moped. We also wanted to have something that would com compete with e-mopeds for shorter journeys and be cheaper, but still maintain the portability of a normal e-scooter. And this seemed to tick all the boxes straight out of the, bo uh, out, out of the bag. By the way, this is not a paid promotion. This no, is it isn't not. a paid promotion. Um, <laughs> We the, don't have any partnership no, with them. Apart else. from that, we'll buy from them. Yeah. That's all. Um, so we, we, it, it, it is primarily and only because that 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 out of the box is the, the vehicle that we can do cheapest and get to the customers cheapest on this. Um, so it has the main feature. It's still light enough. Um, it, it will s sit immediately without any software alterations at 28 miles an hour, and it will pass the DVLA. Um, cl type classification as an L2 moped. We've designed, um, which we designed for these other clients, a folding number plate system where you can remove the number plate and fold the bracket down on it. Um, the rest of the classification we have to adjust the lights, 
um, to have standard the Department of Transport approved lights, brake light and a horn on it. We don't have to have indicators on it as an L2 class moped, so we're not going to do indicators on it. Although, if people are interested, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to look at it. We can, we, can, we can look at that down the line if, if it works. This, um, as an L2 class moped, will qualify, unlike a normal e-scooter, for the £150 grant, which is 38% up to £150 on the purchase price of an e-scooter. So this will make it better value to you guys um, and we'll do a bit about pricing near the end of the video because we have worked it out for you. Um, you will be, ha um, you will have to have a, you will have to be 16, minimum of 16 years old and at least have a provisional driving license to ride it. Um, but because it falls into the L2 class moped category, um, you can insure it as an L2 class moped. And we're not doing it under Q plate where we're doing individuals. We will only have to test the original versions of it as long as we maintain the same production and parts on it, we can just um, ship them in and alter them in our factory unit very easily. So the, it's, it's, it's the easiest way to do it, just to prove it can be done. Um, the insurance shouldn't be too much. It, this will depend on, on who you are as a rider, how many points you've got, what your driving history is, as with a moped, as with a car. We don't want to take massive time about this as we've done with the other videos and get into massive technical um, details as of yet. Suffice to say, we've tested it, we can do this. Surprisingly, and what, this is why we've arrived at this point, we've had 152 firm orders already for this vehicle. Um, these are generally people who have existing motorcycle licenses, um, or a car license. If you look at the price of an e-moped, um, and we've looked, and they, they, aren't, they aren't cheap compared to this, um, you're looking about two and a half thousand pounds to get it on the road. We were trying to, and also that has to be parked in the street and with moped crime where it is, it, it, it's going to be stolen, it's going to get you misused or whatever, um, and then it's open to the elements. An e-scooter, the point of it always was, and I think it was for you, was it? Yeah. That it had portability, um, so we're trying to do an e-moped that has the portability of an e-scooter and we think we've cracked it. Um, what we'd like to do next is open this up to you and your comments and see what you think. We're not saying we're not for other forms of legalisation, we're just saying, you know, suggesting this as an alternative now that we can actually do and do something with. We, we, the more obviously we can buy, the cheaper the price to ourselves. The retail price it, to, to customers at the moment is a thousand pounds. Conversion cost one thousand pounds. Yeah. Well, I think it's not. If you look on personal electric transport, it's nine hundred ninety nine something. We need to pay one hundred and fifty pounds to convert it, i.e., for the brackets, the lights, and the horn. Um, plus, we need to um, pay. Get well. We, we can take the registration fee from the customer but that'll be a one-off registration fee of £55 for your registration place on this. For DVLA, yeah, that's right. So we can, we, we're just doing the one-off fee. We can organise that for you. We've got the paperwork set up for that already. So essentially the £150 moped grant gets rid of the, the £150 conversion fee. So it isn't going to be any more expensive to you, the customer, than the standard VSET e-scooter because the £150 is going to cover the conversion fee that we're going to put, we're going to have to pay out. Um, you will, so it will be the same price plus £55 for your standard registration, which you'd pay on a moped or a car or a motorbike or whatever, uh, which is a one-off fee. Um, so we never have to pay that again. We've got our registration, you're done. And then your own insurance on it. Um, so that's what it will come down to. Um, if you are, have a provisional license, you will still have to do your CVT test, as you would with a moped. But from what we're hearing now, you're going to end up having to do, um, you, you, you're going to be 16 anyway and a driving license, even if they are legalised later on this year. So you may as well take the jump now and have this. The big advantage of this one also is that it will be likely that the government will be making these run at 15.5 miles an hour. Um, and with the ban on public transport, um, you might need a little faster scooter. Doing it this way, you can legally ride at 28 miles an hour, um, which means you can have a faster e-scooter 
out the box as well, which we haven't put in the title, but it is another, another feature and benefit that um, we think will actually add to its usability. So you can, you're going to have a portable e-scooter you can ride now, that you can ride up to 28 miles an hour. Um, other reason, the reason we've chosen the is also because it's a far, because you can go so fast, we wanted a safer model with better suspension and brakes, braking systems on it. A couple of the myths we've dispelled in the past are that you know you you can ride it still on a you won't be able to ride it on a pavement and once you've got a registration plate on it's going to be easy for people to identify you that you're riding on the pavement um, and take a video and report you um, but a lot of the people we've talked to don't want to ride it on the pavement they just want a faster vehicle they can ride on the road now um, so that, that that's going to be the downside you will be identifiable but then again, that's what the government, the, you know, in, in the PACS report, they're saying is the issue, main issue in the first place. This solves that just simply by putting a piece of plastic with some writing on the back of it, um, and you're done. Um, so there's, there's no, there's no real change in the way you're going to be using it. Um, no, apart from that, you will not be riding on the pavement very much on that one. I like electric scooters. I like electric like scooter. Electric scooter. Scooter, scooter, scooter. Electric scooter in the UK. Registration, insurance, permission. Uh, do you like electric scooter? We may have a few issues on this. Um, we've got 150 sales, and I've got a few. There are a few other people shown interest already. Um, if it starts to get too high, I we we don't know what the, the volume of um, the, the number of screws we can actually get our hands on. This is going to be something we're going to have to look at. We have financing in place to buy up to a thousand and convert a thousand at one time, but that doesn't mean we can get hold of a thousand units straight away. Um, so if it got too high or the demand got too high, there may be some waiting lists on this, but on some, on some bikes, e-bikes, and even e-scooters, there are waiting lists already. So we can't account for that. We will do our best and we will be transparent. I think we, will, we'll, we both agree to be absolutely transparent, tell you what's going on and be honest with you. Um, but that, that, that we need to take into account of. Um, we have booked a factory a pop-up factory unit for mid-March. Um, that's when we're aiming to get production underway. Um, so we won't be happening until mid-March and then there will be a lead time of at least two to three weeks before the first come off the rolling off, come rolling off the line for us. Um, we will be able to dispatch up country um, and you will have to pay the courier fee, the delivery fee on that. Um, but that it won't be great. I've done a deal with a courier company to get keep the price down on this one already. Um, what we need now from both of us, we want to make this happen now and we want to prove it can be done now and we want to get the price to you as low as possible. The more we sell, the more people are interested, um, the better for us. And the more we buy, the, the lower the price. And also the lower the price on the conversion kits, because the more conversion kits we can buy, the, the, the price lowers on that one. Um, so what we're going to ask you to do is, as, as usual, um, like, subscribe and comment, and we'll answer any comments you have. Uh, we're going to put a, an email address in, the, in um, the comments above. Please, if you're interested in buying one, email us quickly and we'll get straight back to you. If you can leave a telephone number that we can discuss it with you with, even better. Um, we're, not, we're, just look, we're just looking for people to register interest. You don't, we've already funded it. You don't need to um, put any money up front. We just need to know you're interested and you want one. That's all we're interested in at this point. Um, but if you can promote this video for us in any way to help try and get other people legally on the road, because I know I'm sure there's a lot. I'm, 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 I'm sure that we, we, if we got 150 from the last videos, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more. But we need to sell as many as we can to get the price down, to get e legal e-scooters into people's hands now. And, and please like, subscribe and comment where you can and promote. All right. Thank you.